This is my rep wrap. I just wanted to give people a hint at the starting temperature that they should run their rep wrap at. So I'm going here. I'm going to click on uh, a little bit hard to see, but uh, tool setup. And uh, you want to start about 220 degrees. about 2 RPM because uh, you don't want this to go very fast. What you're looking for is uh, a temp when you have uh, the, the uh, your, your flow stops. So you want to look for the temp that uh, the RepRap says, not what the plastic says it melts at, because the RepRap temperature might be off up to 5 degrees C. Um, so this actually was two two two, but that's okay. So you're gonna you're gonna <clears throat> let it warm up to that temperature, and when your extruder starts extruding plastic, you want to uh, lower the temperature uh, slowly, in enough so it to actually cool down, and you want to find where the uh, the extruder stops extruding. And then you take that temperature, then you add 2 degrees C to it, and that is your starting temperature. That will make all the difference in the world for when you print rafts and for when you print bridges. So for all those people that are having deformed items that have hollow parts, this is part of why. It's because your plastic's too hot and it's melting into a goo instead of a, kind of a liquid string. You want something that, that uh, when it comes out, it's pretty much gooey, but also kind of solid that's strong. So, hope that helps. That's for one setting for Skynfort. That is your raft temperature and uh, uh, your uh, uh, support temperature.